All right, so today's my birthday, October 25th, 2023, right? I'm 50 years old, five zero. I got a five zero. It means I'm half a hundred years old. Some crazy shit, right? So I had an epiphany today because I was pretty much hating life, you know, just... It's been a long, hard fucking seven years. I don't know about you guys, but it's actually, it's been a long, hard fucking 50 years. And I ain't saying other people ain't going through shit that's worse. The problem is, is this world, everything's so fucking hard. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that way. But it is, right? So we all got different levels, different degrees of fucking hardships. And it don't mean that we can't fucking feel a thing because somebody else's hardship is fucking worse than ours, right? It's fucking hard in this motherfucker. And so I'm reflecting back and I'm just like, fuck, 50. And this shit's been hard, right? So I'm just like, I got no control fucking over anything, no matter how much fucking mentalization, motherfucking determination, hard fucking work. Because if you don't know me, you don't know how I mentalize to prosper, to progress, but how much destiny is keeping me fucking from moving forward, right? So I didn't know this shit until I started living it, right? Um, So you got the people online telling people, you know, it's, well, you don't know how to mentalize your reality. Well, they ain't putting in the key factor of destiny. So what you're destined for, you got no motherfucking control over. And that's what I was fucking mad about this morning. Just like, fuck it. I'm just, there's nothing I can do about shit. So on my birthday, I'm going to take a fucking nap. That's one fucking thing I have control over. Let me go take a fucking nap in the middle of the afternoon. I don't know, 10 o'clock, 10, 10, right? And I look down the clock. And then I got up about an hour later, and the beauty of it was the epiphany I had in my dream. My dream, the understanding, the realization that I had woke me up like a rebirth, a rejuvenation, a realization of what I do have control over. Because when we recognize the power of destiny, and we, no matter what the fuck we do, we ain't getting past certain doors at certain times because of the timing ain't right or because it's not your destiny for things to happen the way you fucking want them to happen right so if poverty is your fucking destiny there's some shit you gotta learn in that poverty for a reason and i've been going through that shit for too long now to the point where i was sleeping out on the concrete and working 40 hours and i just keep that short meaning i'm working hard like a motherfucker but yet i'm still living outside because I can't afford to get my ass off the street because the cost of living is too high. Now, that's some hardship, and there's some real shit that people are going through, but nobody knows what people are going through because it's a sub-layer of, of the American reality that's going on. But I got to introduce, and I got a motherfucking up front and center, front row seat of what's going on, and I am fucking determined. That when I am wealthy and successful, to make a change, a radical motherfucking change. Because if the country that stands for freedom goes down, because people can hate Americans all the fuck they want, right? But if freedom goes down and America goes down, where the fuck are we going to go to feed our families in other countries? I have family in Mexico and I'm feeding my kids out there and feeding my mom and feeding those who I love out there because we don't have those same freedoms in other countries but you don't we don't know that shit until we 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 live in two countries and recognize that oh what i can build here i can't do in another country so where the fuck are we gonna go to take care of our families in other countries right when we don't have the freedom to make shit happen no matter how, how fucking hard it is no matter how hard it is it's an opportunity freedom creates opportunity from fucking tyranny And that's what we're facing right here in our world right now. So this is a deep fucking conversation. And if you can't handle it, go do whatever the fuck you do. But this is what I do. You know, this is what I do. And my epiphany at 50 years old, waking up 
from that hour nap that I had personal control of fucking doing. Because I have no fucking control over my destiny that fucking has been sucking for 50 years, right? 50 hard fucking years. Oh, relentless. You know, it taught me to be fucking relentless and consistent and fucking relentless and expecting no compensation for all my fucking determination because I got to do the right fucking thing for the right reason consistently. That's what I fucking learned. And those of you who follow God and God and his team, that's what I call it, God and his team, because we don't work alone, and they're for the benefit of mankind. And they're like, well, if they're for our benefit, then why the fuck is everything so fucked up? Well, because they don't have control over this world, but they're trying to help us navigate through this fuckery that we're in for those who do control this world, because there are many gods with many names. And none of them are for mankind. They're against mankind. And only one team is for. Only one God and his team is for mankind. Like I said, I've come to a lot of realizations in this hardship I've been living lately. And uh, that's what I've come to recognize. And that's some shit people don't share, but it's time. It's motherfucking time. It's time for the fucking good guy to overcome and win. Because we're always overcoming. That's what mankind is, motherfucking overcomers, right? But it's time for us to fucking win. Take position. Change this motherfucker. Because this tyranny that's coming on to this world is going to be impossible to get out of if we don't make some moves now. So that's what this video is about. And for me to celebrate myself, find some kind of position in my 50 fucking hard years to say, X marks the spot from this point. I move on from this point. The back fucking road or the back of my book or the end of my book, the finishing of my book is over. Put that motherfucker on a shelf because I got a new chapter to fucking write. And it's what's after my 50 years. What's, what's coming after the 50 fucking hard years that we live and we fucking endure. What's the knowledge? What's the wisdom? Because we can all have knowledge, but... That knowledge, if it's not used right, it's not wisdom. And so it's some wisdom I want to drop. So I go to bed and I'm, I take this nap right on my birthday just a little while ago. And I'm pissed at the fucking destiny that I got. And if I don't have no fucking control or nothing, well, why, why the fuck try, right? Why the fuck try? If you ain't got no fucking control and your shit's always going to be hard, why try? I went to bed with that. You know, I don't want to go take a fucking nap with that black like, only fucking control I have is to take this motherfucking nap in the afternoon. <sighs> so I take this nap. And the realization was I didn't want to fucking surrender. Because I'm a warrior. And there's a lot of people out there who feel the same. The word surrender is a fucking no-go. Never. Never surrender. I still feel that. It's still in my fucking court, right? So... How am I supposed to surrender to my fucked up destiny of hard living for 50 fucking consistent years and accept that shit that is no matter what, this is how you're going to live. This is going to be your fucking road, no matter how much you mentalize, no matter how much you fucking overcome, no matter how much you physically put it in the effort and the fucking work. So... In that, I, I sleep, right? And then I wake up with a whole new fucking different state of mind. And I can't even remember what I saw or what I experienced in my dream, but I just woke up fucking with a new mood. And so this is what I understood is I have no control over my destiny. We have no control over our destiny when we're born into this world. And now, if... The only thing that we have is our will. But no matter what I do with that will, I can't change the fucking destiny. What is it that I can? And that is through my life and through my death, nothing can change my fucking thought, my state of mind. Because my state of mind is the motherfucker that runs the fucking show, no matter how fucking hard it is. It's my fucking state of mind. I control that motherfucker. I run this fucking bitch right here. And that's the power I fucking needed. I need to know that I have a fucking advantage in this motherfucker. Because this world is hard. 
And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't fucking know. <laughs> then you don't fucking know. I was told one time that you don't have to fucking explain what's understood. Right? So I ain't gonna explain. So knowing that it's my thought that I have 100% control over even in death. And nobody has to tell me that I've experienced being out of my body and being outside when my soul is the one that's consistent and forever lasting. It's my state of mind that's in that soul. And that soul is in this body while I am alive here in this reality. While I'm alive here on this earth. Right? So if I finally have control over something because I was going to bed recognizing that I had no fucking control over nothing and that's a fucking downer and there's no way I'm going to fucking surrender knowing that I have no fucking control so I woke up and I surrendered 100 and I surrendered to the Holy Spirit that is whole balanced and complete spirit of all things the life forces makes the heart beat makes the blood run through our veins Makes us feel. I have the power to change this world with my thought. I felt that we finally got my power back. Because we lose power when we recognize that destiny is no fucking choice but to live the fucking hardship that is in determined, predetermined in our steps of who we even fucking take. So it's the power of my thought that I will not fucking surrender. But I will surrender to the whole balance and complete spirit of things that is life. That we call God and his team. That they are a part of. We all live in life force of love. Because that's what it is. It's the power of love to fucking change this fucked up world. Because that love is inside of me that I fucking want to overcome because that's what it is. It's love. Love is the overcomer because I will fucking push to make this world better because I fucking care. I care about the life that my children live in this world. I care about the people who fucking suffer. They can't find a fucking way out. That's what makes mankind so fucking powerful and unfucking unstoppable and unfucking beatable because we fucking have the power to love. Love is a force, and it's the almighty force within. Love is the Holy Spirit. Just have a misunderstanding. And so I'm renewed because I've surrendered to love. Love of the Holy Spirit itself. That fire, that fucking flame. Oh, it's not weak. It is love and power. A lot of force, a lot of energy, a lot of fucking drive to hold on because we got something fucking trying to take it out. And I'm fucking with because I got my power back. It's my state of fucking mind. I will never surrender. Or feel. I surrender. To the Holy Spirit. And let it be. Let it fucking be. Is that surrender and then you let have? That was my block. That was my block. And today, at 50 years old, that's the knowledge that I'm speaking. I wanted to say speaking and spitting at the same time. <sighs> but that's the knowledge I'm dropping. It's surrender to the force and power of love of the Holy Spirit, be it you're religious or not. We all feel that love. The love that keeps our heart beating. That, that one unity that unites us. Mankind. Especially mine, it's mankind. Because we have the power and the force of love. We really should. We're the ones. And 
nothing change your fucking thought. You have 100% control of the will of your thought. Do whatever you need to do to bring that body back inside. Surrender to love and the Holy Spirit. Never surrender to anything. Try to break it. Fucking stay. Glory to God and His kingdom for all those who work in favor of one and all.